What's up, guys? Lockout Men here with another podcast for you guys today. Yo, we got some topics. We got some topics to talk about today, man. Let's see. Let's see. What are we going to get into? Well, you know a lot of these uh, states, they're planning on reopening their economy. They want to hurry up and get the people back to work, though. Georgia, Las Vegas, many more. Texas. They, they want to jump back into it, man. What's going on, guys? Lockout Men here. Welcome back to another podcast for today. Today is Thursday? Yeah, I think today's Thursday. And we got lots to talk about. Yo, if you guys are interested in content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's just jump right into uh, today's topics, man. It is so crazy that this epidemic is still going on and it's still wreaking havoc across the globe. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of places that have a lot of stay at home orders. Like if you don't have no reason to be out, we're not going to give you a reason to be out because everything is closed. Everything that you come to enjoy everything that you come to like everything that you come to accept is all closed gyms casinos barbershops and more man more 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 but you know what i got somebody that i want to bring on the line that 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 want to you know what let me see something hold on Hey, anonymous person, I, I got to ask you a question right quick. Okay, now check it out. We we had a conversation earlier today, and you disagree with the 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 the, the, the reopening of the economy out here, right? You you disagree with it wholeheartedly, but you you said that it was a statistic. A statistic. See, I can't even pronounce the word right. Statistic. You know what I'm trying to say, right? It's a move that they want to test minorities to see if they want to open everything back up. What did you have to say about that? It's right there in front of you. They they use certain words like barbershop or gym or hair salon, places that they know that we spend money at. Uh, those are black businesses. So we're going to start there. And we're going to see how this virus goes through that community before we don't make a response to try to reopen up the government. And I'm just telling you, don't fall for the hype. Don't be that individual, individual so happy to get out the house and say, I'm going to the barbershop or I'm going to get my hair done or I got to go work out. I don't see any country clubs opening up. I don't see any golf courses opening up, racquetball, tennis. None of that is opening up. But they use words to 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 try to get us in into this thing. I think it's okay to go back out there. I wouldn't go out there. Uh, it's a known fact that this government has not been too... <laughs> Straightforward with us. I mean, I'm sorry. The the government haven't been straightforward with us. They, and not for people of color. I mean, they always use us for experiments. Uh, you got the Tuskegee syphilis experiment. You got the the um, hat uh, where they just took her cells and didn't even tell her. I mean, they they use us as a as a small sample to determine how they want to proceed. I'm not falling for it. If you're going to the barbershop to get your hair done and your haircut and you need a haircut that bad that you're willing to put your life on the line for it, then that's your individual decision. But my thing is, you're going into a barbershop that has the same problems that we have at home. How are you going to make sure that these salons and barbershops 
are sanitizing the way they need to keep this virus at bay. But you anon- can't do that. But uh, but anonymous though, uh, anonymous. We we need to get back. We 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 need yeah, to man, get back. We, we need-, need to get back at the cost of losing lives. So basically, you have the mentality only the strong survive. Is that your? Is that your? Is that really how you feel? Hmm. This virus is taking out the elderly. This this this, vi- this virus is taking out the minority of us, and we have underlying health conditions because we don't have full access to health care. Okay, because we have we're too busy working two jobs. We are dispendable to this government. We are dispendable. We, they don't care about us. They showed you that when they sat there and gave all that money to big business under the terms of it's a small business loan. Who had their hands out? Who got paid first? And if you are a small business that didn't get a loan, and you've been with that bank for, for, for years, and they couldn't get you a loan, it's time for you to rethink your position with that bank that you've been banking with for 35 years because your grandmother and your mama and your grandmama's daddy banked at that bank. But when you go to get your, your government money for your business to see, they don't have anything for you. But at the same time, you got Harvard University, who's already a prestigious institution that has money back in from former slaves. Okay, don't, let, don't get me started. Anyway, you you already you started. To, you you already started. That's what I'm saying. Going, that that's what I'm saying. If you're going you, to these places and you're going to be that idiot that decides to go and get your hair done because you ain't had your roots and grades done. Think about this: How is your barber or hair salon going to sanitize you and protect you from this virus? If we can't buy bleach, alcohol, hand sanitizer, what makes you think that they can buy it? If we're having trouble finding hand sanitizer. On the shelf, what special connections do your favorite restaurant have? What special connections do your barber shop your barber shop has for finding bleach and, and, and hand sanitizer things to keep this virus at bay? I'm just asking people to be smart. Don't go rushing out. Don't go rushing to, to, to get back in the business. I know you're hurting. I know America's hurting. That just goes to prove we're supposed to be the biggest country with the greatest economy in the world. And it took our economy two weeks to fold. Two weeks. Before, before everybody started tripping. The reason they, they're, they're, they're letting these people die is they don't want to pay Social Security benefits anymore. They don't want to pay unemployment anymore. So if rather than pay unemployment, we're going to say, go to work, go get your little minimum check, be happy. Oh, yeah, try not to die because we don't have any more money for you for unemployment. But an- anonymous. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How much longer I can't answer that I I can't tell you all I can tell you is we, we got to be kind to each other we got to look after each other and some of our some of us are in a position to, to, to take care of ourselves let alone look after someone I'm just saying be smart don't go jump into the deep this virus is, 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 is nothing like we've seen before Okay, and you best believe a second wave is coming. And if you don't know anything, I don't know if you guys remember the Spanish flu. It wasn't the first wave that killed all those people. That virus lasts up to two years. Okay, and it had a resurgence. It was that second time that virus went around that it took out so many people. Because once again, they're doing what this country is doing. Oh, everything's fine. Go back. Life is normal. Guess what? Life will never be normal. Okay. Well, they, After this, they they say they say the city of St. Louis says here, uh, courtesy of KMOV4, says here that the city of St. Louis County extended the stay-at-home order indefinitely. Yes, they, they don't because even, you don't know. Indefinitely, we don't know until we can get these numbers under control. These numbers. The, the, the curve has not been controlled. We're still getting cases every day until we get that number down to where it's safe. They canceled school here, okay? School has been canceled for the, until the, until September, okay? And I, and I think it's it's a it's a damn shame. Let me calm down. My heart, my blood pressure. Yeah. Yeah, we need to calm, calm that blood pressure down, man. This this is something. This this is a passion. This is passion this coming is from you, passion. anonymous. This is, not, this is not passion. This is frustration at its highest form. 
frustration at this government. And, and don't get me wrong. I think this is a great place to leave, but I think there are some serious, serious discrepancies with our government. Okay. We sat here. We had all these money to give away for, for the COVID pandemic. This money was just sitting there. But at the same time, we were trying to get infrastructure done. We we're trying to get schools built. None of this money could be found. Now, all of a sudden, we got everybody getting stimulus checks. Everybody getting special laws. This money just came out of nowhere. Now, now wait a minute now. Now, not everybody got them checks. They said it was, they said that if I you, if you, if you owe, if you owe. Don't the, remind me about not getting a stimulus check. That's what, another source of money. Well, they. I didn't give one. Well, the 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 five the 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 uh the people that owe uh child support they didn't get none. What? Yeah, the, I killed how, it right there with. How how is that how is that fair for for the uh for for the for the people that owe well child support? Well, how is it fair for that child? To, how is it fair for that child not to have child support? That's the question you really should be asking. Mm. Not how fair that that person didn't get a check. Mm. How is it fair that that child needs to get child support? Let's go deeper. Mm. Let's dig a little further. Yeah, we 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 know we we know personally of a of 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 a couple Don't of people. We know personally of a couple of people that that dodged. Um, that dodged uh, child support, but uh, okay, okay, child support. Now, now, anonymous. Me and you have two different, very different opinions when it comes to child support. And w- would I be Always. would I be safe to say that? Always. Okay. So my now, don't get me wrong. If if the man lays down with oh, a woman. Yeah, I get it. If if the man lays down with a woman, okay, and he 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 didn't strap up, and and the woman got pregnant, then that's the responsibility of the man to take care of that kid. Am I right? So what I'm hearing <laughs> is it's the woman's fault. What I'm hearing is it's the woman's fault because she got pregnant. That's basically what you said. Well, I'm not saying that. Uh, well, that's basically what you said. The term was the woman got pregnant. It's not that the man made a decision not to strap up and she accepted it. The woman got pregnant is what you just said. But, right? Yes. So, therefore, you already placed the blame on her for getting pregnant. No. Anyway, let's, 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 no get this, let's get this. <laughs> For argument, and you already know my views on this, so let, let's not, let's not do this. Okay. I gotta get back to work. Okay, anonymous. Well, thank you for coming on right quick uh, to chop it up with me and all like that. You get back to work, and I'll talk to you later. Peace. Peace. Anonymous, y'all. That came in on the check in right quick, but uh, but yeah, like I said, you know. This situation that's going on right now it is it's crazy that that some of these places wants to reopen. 